Oh, it's Petra Predictions here. Rapid Predictions. Group A looks like the easiest group in the whole tournament. I have Qatar top in the group. I think they'll have relative ease in this group. China coming in second, Lebanon in third, and Tajikistan in fourth. However, I don't see Lebanon finishing as one of those like top third places to reach the knockout round, as I do see Lebanon maybe drawing with Tajikistan. Group B. I actually think this is the most difficult group in the tournament, though I do see Australia top in the group, Uzbekistan coming in second, in Syria in third and India in fourth and I do think Syria will beat India and their goal difference will be okay and I think they will advance to the knockout stages though I do expect some draws maybe between Uzbekistan Australia or even Syria Australia or Uzbekistan. Group C not a bad group for Iran I don't think it'll be easy for them but I do expect them to top the group UAE coming in second Palestine in third and Hong Kong in fourth though I do see Palestine winning against Hong Hong Kong and I do see Hong Kong having really bad goal differences so I see Palestine reaching the knockout round as one of those best third places. Group D this should be a comfortable group for Japan but for the other three teams I think it's really even and hey every tournament has its surprises and we'll probably see it in this group so I see Japan topping the group in first, Vietnam coming in second, Indonesia coming in third and Iraq finishing bottom in fourth I do see them having a bad tournament I do see Indonesia maybe nicking a win in that first match against Iraq and Vietnam are proving they're a pretty solid team in Asia right now and hey Garuda di da da ku. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably biased right now to Indonesia. Group e, simple group for Korea actually, and they could even test out different kind of players and save even their best players for the latter rounds. And I do see Korea top in the group in first, Jordan coming in second, Bahrain in third, and Malaysia in fourth. Though I do see it being a draw against Bahrain and Malaysia, both of them only getting one point, having bad goal differences and that. So I don't see Bahrain reaching the knockout stage. I actually think Group F is the most difficult group to predict in this tournament. I do think there will be a lot of draws actually in this group and some surprises. I do think Saudi Arabia have gone beyond their peak under Khanad. Now they're under new management and that. So I do see this being a surprise group. I see Oman topping the group in first, Saudi Arabia coming in second, Thailand in third and Kyrgyzstan in fourth. I do see Thailand winning the game, probably against Kyrgyzstan and them being one of those best third place finishers and qualifying for the knockout stage. And hey, I do see Oman winning against Saudi. Maybe a really cagey close game. Working out the knockout fixture with the 2014 that narrows down into 16 teams is very complicated. But if I've got it correct, the first game would be China against UAE, which I think UAE will win. And we would have Japan and Thailand, which I think Japan would qualify to the quarterfinals. Then you have Australia, Palestine, which I think Australia. And then Oman, Jordan, which is quite an interesting one as one of those have to make the quarterfinals and I think Oman will overcome Jordan but a very close game. Then you would have Iran versus Syria which I think Iran would ease that through. Then you would have Korea Vietnam which I think will be closer than most people think but I do think Korea would win. Qatar versus Indonesia not gonna lie even though it's Indonesia um, Qatar's gonna win that to be honest and then you'd have Uzbekistan Saudi Arabia which I think will be a very close game could even go to penalties but I think Saudi have that little bit more quality and depth. That leaves us with the first First quarterfinal of UAE versus Japan, which I think Japan would win. Second quarterfinal, Australia, Oman. I know Australia has been doing really well. They did really well the last World Cup. But for some reason, I see Oman just being very defensive, frustrating Australia. Everyone would expect and they will expect Australia to have more possession. And I think they might frustrate them and they could actually knock them out and reach their first ever semi-finals of an Asian Cup. And okay, this is a very ballsy um, prediction, but hey, let's see. Iran Korea this is such a close call but I'm just gonna go with Iran just because they have a native coach Korea doesn't and that might really be the difference of just that understanding and hey it might work in knockout football and then the final quarter final match Qatar and Saudi Arabia sorry Qatar I know your hosts and that but I see Saudi Arabia edging it there that leaves us with the semi-finals of Japan versus Oman Oman's had a great fairy tale run but I see Japan edging them to the finals and then you've got a nice Arabian Gulf uh, derby there with Iran and Saudi Arabia but I do think Iran would edge it there which leaves us with a final of Japan versus Iran this is going to be a really good final really intense probably KG actually but Japan have that more history of being in finals and that whereas Iran haven't uh 
who knows, it could really go either way, but I would go with a heartbreak for Iran, still no Asian Cup for them for decades, and Japan will win it. Who do you guys think will win the 2023 AFC Asian Cup, and who do you think will be the surprise package of this tournament? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next video.